guys, today I'm going to show you an original design I made, and this is called the Stitched Fish, and I posted this on my Instagram, but I learned, like, got the name before I posted it, and the colors remind me of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch, but it also looks like a fish tail that got stitched. I'm going to make another video of this one, it's called the trapped fish, and this is what it looks like. It's very, it's a very similar way on how to make a stitched fish, but it, it looks different. So let's get started. So first you're going to need a loom, you're going to need just two pegs, just two pegs, and you're going to need any kind of bands. Today I'm going to be using black and white, just because I want to, I don't know why. And I'm also going to be making another video on this called the striped wafer, because it reminds me of those wafer sticks, and I will make a video on this soon. And you're going to need a hook, a hook, and a clip. Today I'm going to be using... S clip. So first, let's start off with two pegs. You just need two pegs. Let me get these out of the way. I have a lot of smarties for Valentine's Day. Okay, so I'm gonna start with white. So you're gonna do an infinity sign like that on the first two pegs, and make sure you know how to do the fishtail stitch before you know how to do this stitched fish. And take a black. And again, I'm going to do an infinity sign. And I'm going to take the top layer and hook it around one of the pegs. So it should look like this on the side. And now I'm going to push that down. And with the white again, I'm going to do the same thing, infinity sign. Take the top layer. But this time, I'm going to hook it over twice, like a cap band on the other side of the peg. So this is the one this side. You can see that. And focus. And this side has two and this side has two. So and then now you want to hook the cap band. So you hook the very bottom one. And it should look like this and now you want to push down. And you take a black, a different band, and with infinity sign, and then hook it around this another time. So now it should look like this. Now you want to hook the very bottom too. So I'm going to hook just the two bands on this side. Well, it's one band. And hook one of the bands on this side. Just hook one color. And now you want to push down, and you can pull. I'm going to show you guys one more time. So it's going to be with white infinity sign. Take the top one and loop it around a second time on the other side. So now it should look like this. Now you want to hook the right bottom two bands on the side. And you hook one on the side. So you should keep on going. And please pause to catch up and or rewind the instructions but i'm going to be moving on how to end the bracelet so this is what it should look like and while you're making the bracelet you might want to just tug on the cap bands so they show a bit more so they look like they're stitched more so now you're going to take a, when you're ending you want to take just a band you don't need to loop it or anything you just Put a regular band on the two pegs and wrap it over the bottom the bottom bands, put it take it over that band, push down, and you take the last layer again and take it over. And then now you want to take this band pet um and now you want to take your S clip, which mine is on the other side and attach it to the other side of the bracelet. And this is it. This is the f stitched fished. And 
make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. This was my original design. So, and make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And they will be down below. Thanks for watching. And I will also have another video on the trapped fish and the striped wafer. Bye.